Hi and welcome back to my channel where I make tech easy to understand. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Today I want to break down the difference between traditional AI and generative AI. So let's dive in. First up, traditional AI. Imagine you're playing a computer at chess. The computer knows all the rules, it can predict your moves and make its own based on a predefined strategy. It's not inventing new ways to play chess, but selecting from strategies that it was taught and programmed with. That's traditional AI. It's like a master strategist who can make smart decisions within a specific set of rules. Now let's look at generative AI. Suppose you have a friend who loves telling stories, but instead of a human friend, you have an AI. You give this AI a starting line, say, once upon a time, a galaxy far away. The AI takes that line and generates a whole space adventure story, complete with characters, plot twists, and a thrilling conclusion. The AI creates something new from the piece of information you gave it. This is a basic example of generative AI. It's like an imaginative friend who can come up with original creative content. What's more, today's generative AIs can not only create text outputs, but also images, music, and even computer code. Now here's the major difference between these two. Traditional AI is like a chess player who can analyze the board and make the best moves based on predefined rules. It doesn't create anything new, but makes smart decisions within those set rules. On the other hand, generative AI, like our storytelling friend, can take a single sentence and generate a whole new original story. It can create new content that didn't exist before, which makes it incredibly useful for creative applications like writing, music composition, and even uh, creating digital art. So that's it, the difference between traditional and generative AI made easy. Hopefully this helps clear things up. Remember to like this video and if you found it useful, share it with your friends to help them understand too. Stay tuned for more tech explanations and see you in my next one.